8.46 a.m. on September 11, 2001, a plane flew into the North Tower of the World Trade Center in New York. Mark Edward Cooper was at work right next to Independence Hall when this happened. Cooper works with Teleton, so about five minutes later, everybody at Mark's office were watching the news. Later at 9.03 a.m., the South Tower of the World Trade Center was hit. Many Americans thought the first plane was a mistake. By the time the second plane hit, it had not only come over Mark, but everybody realized that this was no joke. Cooper stated, We realize this is a terrorist attack. Panic spread New York once reality hit. Mark and his colleagues watched the news, forgetting about work. No one knew what would happen next. Mark's experience was similar to the other Americans, but part of it wasn't. Being next to Independence Hall and working in television had a huge impact. The history of 9-11 attacks can go back to 1979 when the terrorist group Al-Qaeda after, formed after the Soviet Union invaded Afghanistan. Osama bin Laden emerged as the group's leader. He was a major extremist who, turned, who tried to turn all Muslims against anyone who was not Muslim. Through the 1990s, Al-Qaeda sent out constant threats against the United States of America. They used the excuse of American troops who remained in the Mideast after the first Gulf War. The 9-11 attacks were first talked about in 1996, but Al-Qaeda did not start the actual plan until early 1999. The hijackers started to arrive in the United States throughout 2000. In July 2001, the final plan was made. Mark Cooper is originally from Waterford, Michigan. He moved to Philadelphia area in 1985. He now lives in Woodwood, Pennsylvania with his wife and two children. At the time before and during the attack of 9-11, Cooper was a program director at KYW-TV in Philadelphia. As part of his job, he monitors all of the TV stations in the city. Because of this, he was able to see coverage of the attacks on all the television networks. This gave him a very unique perspective. Mark works in television, so minutes later, every news channel was showing this. Mark remembers how quite quiet it was. No one was working. After the Twin Towers were hit, panic spread New York. Meanwhile, in Washington, D.C., American Airlines Flight 77 crashes into the Pentagon at 9.43 a.m. Fear spread two states at this point. Mark stated, Once the Pentagon was hit and the Twin Towers were hit and everyone then heard that the plane that was, had crashed in Pennsylvania was heading toward the White House, well, there was a fear that they were planning to destroy places of interest and places of history for the United States. N Nothing ever happened to Independence Hall, but at the time it was believed it would. Cooper and his colleagues all got off work by 12 p.m. since they were right next to Independence Hall. Cooper said, There was a concern uh, of what if they hit Independence Hall, so the local government in Philadelphia actually made it mandatory for everyone to leave. You had to leave work at that time. Mark's wife, Terry Cooper, worked many blocks away. Although she was not at work that day, her office also got to get off work very early, too. Everybody was on their toes that day. September 11th seemed to last forever. Who knew that so much destruction, so many lives lost, could happen one day? Mark said, A part of me was scared, but like the rest of the country, I was mostly just shocked. He was shocked of what happened. No one had expected this. And no one had expected what soon what to come when the South Tower collapsed at 9.59, only 56 minutes after it was hit. The North Tower later on collapsed at 10.28 a.m. The Seven World Trade Center also ended up collapsing at 5.21 p.m. It caught on fire when the North Tower subsided. Later on, it collapsed. Two 110-story buildings and a 47-story building turned into lots of rubble. This would take a long time to clean up, and the cleanup ended up taking about eight months. For Mark Cooper, the recovery wasn't as bad as for people who suffered loss in New York and Washington, D.C. Many people wished that 9-11 never happened. Over 3,000 people lost their lives just from the towers collapsing. It may, not, it may have taken a long time for recovery, but after a few years passed, contractors started planning to build a new tower, something bigger and something better. That was the Freedom Tower, rising up at 1,776 feet tall. This building not only showed that no matter what other countries do to America, the United States will bounce right back up and survive, but it also showed a little symbolism. 
it was 1,776 feet tall because 1776 was the year the United States became a free country. It shows that no one has el else has control over the United States. The U.S. is a free country. 9-11, a day of destruction, a day of loss, and a day of depression. 9-11 will never be forgotten. Every year, the United States of America will remember those who lost their life. Mark Rupa may, have suff may not have suffered loss of a loved one, but like the average of experience, he had suffered by having to see all this destruction. Cooper had a very busy day, being in the station, having to cover the story. It wasn't easy. At one point, it was just too much grief, even to watch a 9-11 report. Mark remembers. Sometimes still, when I look up and I see a plane fly overhead, I still think of 9-11. 9-11 is a day never to be forgotten. People will remember the sorrow of that day for many years to go on.